BWR Roundtable. Welcome to episode six. I'm your host, James Alexander. What's John doing? Yeah, John's sitting in the Hey! Place. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Because, John, you're here for a special reason today. You know why? For the first time ever, I'm going to have to bring in a special guest for one of my picks. And you're it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today, obviously, because... John is one of my special picks. We're talking about a championship. We're talking about the Pride Championship. Now, obviously, I'm holding the secondary Pride title, which, just to sum it all up, I'm going to go back to what Nick said last time. Nick said, the Pride Championship, as opposed to the World Championship, is something I had more control over, and that didn't go off the rails as much. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> so I'm going to play a clip. This belt, this belt represents you, represents me, represents Bravado, represents Polish, Slavic, Pulowski. This belt represents pride. You don't have what it takes to fucking stand for the rules. You don't, don't know the rules. See any of those you people don't here? You the rules. Where are they? They're not here. I'm here. I'm here. Who the fuck are you? I'm the only H guy in this I shit. I am Havoc. <laughs> I beat you last time. I don't remember that. I took my $8,000 back. You want to fight or are you just here to blow steam out your fat mouth? You know that sums it up. And we're talking about top five best and worst Pride Championship matches. And let's go to the panel all the way over to my left. Dressing Dapper, the very last BWA Pride Champion, Maurice Jones. This is Black Dragon. Sitting, is that the legend title? Conspicuously by his absence. Jose Chico, Jose Valdez, we're going to try to get him on the line a little bit later on. Special guest Big John is here. Swoop it all the way around to the only man in this room who never holds Pride Championship is Steve Gardino. It's psycho. Then you turn that camera around to Nick Mazzano three times. The Pride Champion. Let's rock and roll. You know all right, let's get started. Dragon, we're going to go with the worst first. Top five absolute worst Pride Championship matches. No problem. Well, first to get started. Last time, in the last video, uh, Br Nick said something very important. And he said how important and special the heavyweight title was to him. And I respect that because that's how I felt about the Pride title. This is my belt. I worked for it. Every match that I had for it, I tried my hardest. I went above and beyond defending or trying to attain it. And I felt like in most cases, that's what we're about to find out, some didn't. <laughs> It rose above, and for the people that came later, the people who came in 08, you know, 07 and 08, this was our main function to go after. So this was very important to us and everything. Now, there was a lot of good in the Pride. There was a lot of bad. But I have to give some special missions first because there's some stuff that I would consider as bad, but there was for specific reasons. Like, one, now, before I start getting to my numbers... Mzado, your Pride title reign, I believe it was in 08, there was a lot of, it got fixed later on, but the DQ finishes for title exchanges, I could not stand. Because there was a lot of times this happened, and it was important for the person winning the title, but it was done so shittily, it didn't make sense. But I don't want to count a match as bad, because there were some matches that were good, but the finish was stupid, and I don't want to put it as bad just because... It had a dumb finish. But definitely, as a special bad mention, that DQ finish for title exchange, even though it got fixed later, was dumb. Do you know why? Because why dumb? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> do you know why it came about? I don't write the matches. Mm -hmm. I just do what I'm told. Exactly. Right. Uh, not, not to be... Not to be, be outdone by the three line break rule. Mm -hmm. That is a mixture of the, uh, of the TNA heavyweight title from mm -hmm. 2004 and the Ring of Honor pure title with mm -hmm. the three, three uh, rope breaks. I thought, since we had had so many world title matches mm -hmm. with, you know, kind of going by, by the same formula, you know, you you know the change it sign, sign of the, the times, this could add something. Well, I and it didn't. <laughs> I didn't mind the three line break rule because it made it more technical, but the yeah. whole, I could win the title by hitting my partner and giving it, well, th well, that was the whole thing that, like, it, we were also trying to tell a story that Dark Force was willing to do anything to win. 
Yes. Right. Yeah, but it kept happening. It, it was a very long story. And it, 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 it had yeah. very simple that, chapters. That's just disturbing in my mind. I'm tired of yeah. being like, yo, so what am I have to do to get this time? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to look and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. Like, it looks like, like, like to the, to the, to the, to the point was that, that's specific. Uh, that specific stipulation was decided on because of where we were going to go mm-hmm. with, with the Dark Force storyline. But I, I, I think a more egregious e- example of when it was really bad and shouldn't have been used was the Hazard Sin storyline. Uh, well, we'll get to that. Oh, we're going to get to that. Uh, All right, go on. Number five. Another, another, another special bad mention. I just got to talk. John, you suck as a ref sometimes. Because <laughs> if somebody botches, we could cover it. But if somebody botches and you're a referee, the match is fucked. Because you have fallen on the floor laughing <laughs> in the middle of a serious match. During a prime time match? Yes, it, it, oh. it has happened. Um, and also, just one thing, just for being an asshole. <laughs> During technically a pride title match, Neil couldn't sell a car. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to go to that. Bad matches. Number five. Now, I don't know if anybody else is going to have this, but I put PSP versus Armageddon Inc., even though it was mm-hmm. individually... Mm-hmm. I actually think that was a good I think I think it was shitty. I think Why? Because I'm gonna contradict myself. I think the finish was so bad it shit on the match. We were all the prime title was important. And what happened in the match is everybody went against him individually first, you know, Valdez, then Sen, built to me, and then in the end we just beat the shit out of him. I would have rather had it that he beat me and then we jumped him. But the fact that I just we just attacked him was like I didn't give a fuck about the title anyway. We just now I felt like the finish took away from the match. It made the whole match not make sense. Now here's 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 the uh, there's there's actually a big story just to that little moment in, okay. in time. Uh, first off, you're you're pissed. You know who was really pissed? <laughs> a little newcomer by the name of Riadon. I don't see why uh, PSP over here beat all three of Armageddon Inc. Fine. Um, I don't see why the match with Valdez and the match with Sin wasn't that good. <laughs> like, like that's that that's that's what, what what bothers me. What we show on the video is just you doing your move and mm. Joe doing a a, a run in, which also yeah. wasn't planned because he was doing gun show at that time. Exactly. I guarantee you. Uh, but you guys did have a little match. It was mm-hmm. it was it was small. What we were building up to was you versus PSP on um, I want to say the last show. That oh. that was we we were building up to that to that match, which I'm glad we actually finally got to do it like a like a a, a couple of years later. Yeah. Because if not, that would have been a, a match we 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 didn't we get to. to right. So we we wanted to leave open something. And since since you you guys were were heels. That's kind of what happens in in a a gauntlet match where where it's it's three heels versus one face. By the time that it's the third heel, they just jump them. But you know, so that was kind of the formula. But still, like like it it it, it could have been better. But you guys were so new. Like like how like how much better could have been? It still looked cool. I just would have rather got beat instead of just. Yeah. Uh, well, we I weren't trying to beat title. you either. I, I want this title. Eh, no, I don't. Yeah. Okay, number four. Hey, John. Was it you? Yeah, it was, was it. Was it motherfucking you? It was, was you, it was okay? Me. Yeah, it was me. It was definitely John me. Black Dragon for the Pride Championship. I was trying. But as soon as the bell rang, John just proved he didn't care. I also met him at 
Tag Team Pride Championship match with the first one-on-one -on -one contest. 13 minutes left at a time limit in this match. <laughs> Didn't want to take the time to hook the entire maneuver. And I kick out. Dragon coming in, oh my god! Dragon's Rush! Big John is not moving. It was me! It indeed was Dragon! And Dragon retains! That wasn't you, just changed everything. And I tried, and I tried to get it back on the rails. I believe that was the match with the surprise trust fall. No, no, the surprise no. trust fall was, was the only other Pride Championship okay, match well. before that, a couple months before that. What? John. I, I don't have to John. look at the camera. John, what the hell? I was trying to have a serious match. I was going hard. We had the potential to have a good match. We've had good matches. But because of the what's at you, yep, yeah, click to it. Who gives a fuck? There is a way to behave in society. Am I the person? Yeah, I somebody, one of the men that was up here told me not to move these garbage cans. Yep. Could you be a good citizen and put one of them back up on the boardwalk where it belongs? What? Yes, it was me. We have come to a point where we are over a year into this roundtable series where we can now clip back to old roundtable. So we're going to clip back to <laughs> me complaining about surprise trust fall from last year on roundtable number one. <laughs> surprise <laughs> trust fall! <laughs> John coming in. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Big John with a corkscrew elbow! <laughs> Hey, look, my hair's long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so overweight and I love cheese. And that makes all like buff. Hey, so, ladies, call them. Anyway, um, yeah. And I have 35% no. more hair. Uh, number three. Now, this is a rare gem, but apparently TKO, for the pride title, wrestled Monoxa. I still haven't gotten my gun. Oh, yes. <laughs> And 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 there's there's two clips in this match that I'm I'm not even gonna talk about. You know what they are. Clip. He did Jane. not. But oh man, what? Reverse this. Get in the game. What the fuck? Fuck media. Care, I'm gonna, gonna stretch all, all that to set up this maneuver. What the fuck is this? Oh, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought that was bad, what do you see no, this? Okay, let's Clip. Oh, no! No! Oh, game over, baby. It's not gonna end like this. No! Oh, now's the final sin. It stays on his feet. Let's, oh talk, let's actually God. talk about it. Come on. Okay, no, no, no. No, I will not. Come on. Just, just think in mind. TKO versus Dom. I'm done. <laughs> okay, now, number two. Um... Why do I have not two number twos? <laughs> oh, you remember? Because John brought something up in the car. John, still fucking me off. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Um, number two, screw it. I'm going to go with the Valdez versus Marcus. Ah, yeah. I understand yeah, sometimes... The versus the casting call. Sometimes we have issues, but it's supposed to be settled outside the ring, and that clearly was not... Technically, it was settled. The, fi the finish, the Bob Backlund finish... The was it tainted clip? Your victory over me was tainted because of the fact I laughed at your submission hold. I found it very amusing that you would reduce yourself to using that particular move. I had someone came before me and told me tainted, tainted. It was just, it had good potential and BWA wise, the storyline worked and it could have been done right. Marcus should have just got kicked in the head and the pinfall should have happened and that would have been great. But no, now we have a laughing submission and we have to continue this shit because now we have to incorporate it and it made no sense and it just shitted on something that could have been really good. The, the thing and about I, that match is, sorry, sorry to cut you off, is um, 
there's such a struggle going on, which, which, like, like on on the uh, Natasha. The, the, uh, Excuse me. <laughs> on on the surface, really to like it just seems like, oh, you know, these guys they can't get along. They shouldn't be. But they had a match the month prior. Which wasn't which wasn't, wasn't bad. bad. That was where, where where he missed the kick. So yeah. so after that can be fixed. A match two weeks prior to that, which was which was when there was like that windstorm, which wasn't too bad, but they did the, the Adam Payne interference. <laughs> and a triple threat match with PSP, which was supposed to be a blow like a, a throwaway match, and, and that wound up being the best fucking the one they had. Sick. And that is kind of the cornerstone of that entire feud. That should have been the blow off. And that should have been the blow off. potential for it to be good and when it's the crowning stage for it to be good yeah and they just say fuck it yeah there so, was there was something there was something going wrong there I, I i couldn't figure the shit out it didn't make sense and my number one most hated pride title match downfall may 31st 2009 oh hazard versus tk nobody knows what's coming everybody's like huh <laughs> the reason i hated this match because it embodied everything that i dislike it was no storytelling because it involved Hazard. It was Hazard trying to do a plethora of moves to TKO. And TKO should be, you know, big man versus not so big man. But the big man in that match was TKO. Why the hell are they doing all this stuff? There was no storytelling. It was very one-sided. And Hazard taking this time to, to regroup. You can, you, you can tell that, that he took that extra second. And now once again trying to lock in this hold. Oh, he got it! He nailed it! Ooh. Wow, well done! Nailed that on pretty or TKO has no line breaks left. At the 25-minute portion of this matchup, could it be over? But Hazard didn't roll him for a cover. There goes that confident grin that has become so 
so familiar with Hazard. And you know what he's calling for, that devastating punt, which was one in, 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 in most part, one Hazard that belt. And, and speaking of, of the belt, there's Ryan. I remember last week, Ryan on his Hazard's belt in his hand. Wait. He's looking to do the same thing. The tournament. Wait, I, I think Ryan Hunt's here to help Hazard. Good damnation be back together. And Hazard gonna steal it one more time. Whoa! And Hazard busts the title again. But the referee saw it. The referee saw it. Wait, Hazard, Hazard is just, Hazard lost the belt. Hazard has been disqualified, unbelievable. The same way Hazard won the title is the way he's lost it here today. And Ryan out facilitated the whole damn thing. And look at the grin on his face. Hazard's emotional reign as Pride Champion has just come to an Start end the match again. on a disqualification. And Hazard's arguing with the official, there's nothing else can be done here. Hit the official. TKO is not up. Wait, <laughs> Wait another counter? Is he. Is he really gonna fight with the referee like this? <laughs> well, the referee's a big dude, he's not gonna let that go down. And... Hazard can't believe it. TKO is not even not even regained consciousness. What? <laughs> oh man, it just punts him. <laughs> and Hazard disgusted with the whole situation. Hazard is no longer Pride Champion. His over five week reign is done. I get it. All right, send seven. You got it, man. You got it. You did it. Pride is the first of seven deadly sins, and Trent K. Ortega is the seventh Pride champion. Any moments left? Of course, it had the icing on the cake, another DQ title change. But it was important for Sin to win the belt, so it was important and he was celebrating it. But how can you celebrate it when you got DQ'd to win the belt? Not like, only that. It contradicts itself so much, and you can just tell Hazard didn't give a fuck. Hazard put that heavy ass belt around his, his fucking head. And kick the heavy ass belt where like the the gold part of the belt is on the outside, and that's supposed to hurt. That shouldn't even be a DQ. Nick putting the chain around his leg and kicking Charles was way more devastating than that. But that was in a hard match. Yes, it was. It made no sense. That's why I didn't get it. It sucked. The whole match didn't make sense. I, it, I, it was I just, have an insight. It was just horrible. Sense. He's got an insight. It, it, did it end by DQ because Hazard went out no, and to that fat fuck? It like yeah, kind yeah. of kind yes. of could have no, been that. No, that's, no, that's it what is. I can see. Yes, Hazard's, Hazard's whole title reign. He's like, I'm not he, telling he, anybody he, what the finish is, so they no, can be he excited. Didn't. He lost the title by DQ after yeah. punt kicking him with a I shield thought, around his neck. I thought he pinned him. No, no, he was DQ'd. We're, and that's what we're talking about. He was, and DQ'd. He was DQ'd. And then the worst I was like, part, no, but I fought him. <laughs> and the worst part is that now after that, TKO has to sell like, yes, I won the title. I did it. I'm finally top champ. You got kicked in the neck. Well, we're in the shit. Cause yeah, the thing is, he, like, he then retains the title by DQ. I hate it. Uh, no, no, no. He he won the 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 title, beating Sin in the finals with that same spot with with the Styrofoam title, which didn't look half as bad as him doing it this time. And it wasn't a DQ in the finals of of the the the, the tournament. The ref just didn't see it. Didn't see uh, it. I thought, yeah. I'm saying that after that, he retains the title on a DQ. Does he? No, he. he no, 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 because... Oh, yeah. And then the, we have the same match again the next week. Right, no, 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 no. The first match, he makes you tap. The second match, he, he uh, retains like, he, he retains on, on, on DQ, I think, when Valdez comes in. And then you're like, hey, you bastard! And you hit him with the belt, and you go, I'm for Yeah. 
You fat fuck. I hit everybody. Mm -hmm. no. I got tired of DQ finish. Yes. I, I wanted to point well, we retired it soon after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, luckily. But so, yeah, that's that's my top five bad matches. Well, we I actually wanted to point out the, 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 the hazard match. That, that made hazard it a lot to care. What, what is? Is that um, a lot of the times to address your issue of the DQs and matches, there mm -hmm. are DQs and matches. Because yeah. Hazard is guilty of this, and so is Tyrant somewhat. If you want to win a belt from Tyrant, you have to like pick a week his girlfriend broke up with him. Mm -hmm. So he's like a little bit down, so he's like, Alright, I ain't Zeus, I'm just Hercules. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could conceivably take the belt from me when I'm not looking. Alright, <laughs> let's, let's go to break, and then we're going to come back with Black Dragon and the best of this garbage. Mr. It's Mr. my Hercules. time, Mark. The title Mr. that you Mr. got Mr. around the waist, Mr. I'm hungry for it. <laughs> and it soon will be mine. Rock a pack. And we're back! Dragon, please tell us. Let's try to get out of this devastating funk that we are in. Tell us about the good Pride title matches that happened. It's a really good band name. Oh, so devastating funk. <laughs> yeah, let's George Collins. <laughs> anyway, um, so first we got to give some special mentions because there's a couple of things yeah, that I, definitely I added that. or saved some things that could have been bad and brought it over to good so i want to do a special you know honorable mention to the voiceover neo the genesis commissioner because <laughs> neo as commissioner was horrible but the voiceover neo <laughs> saved a lot of things and prevented some things i think would have crippled bwa <laughs> i think it avoided a couple of atrocities so i think that was awesome <laughs> The following message has been paid for by the office of Neo to Genesis. Hazard, I am not the one you should be concerned with. Therefore, you will defend the Pride Championship against a surprise opponent. I also want to give a uh, special, you know, honorable mention to Commissioner Bravado. Because, oh. you know, just as soon as you went commish, it righted a lot of wrongs, and it just gave some extra story arcs, and it added a lot to things. Um, and also, special honorable mention to your theme music, because it was cool. Oh, thank you. And I got to come out to rap. <laughs> also, in the good thing, I like that Pitch Black won the Pride title. I just felt like everybody deserves to, you know, shine. And I really enjoyed that he was a Pride champion. Not how he won it, <laughs> but the fact that Pitch Black was Pride champion. He's happy about beat the shit out of yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, top five best matches. Why do I have two number five? <laughs> <laughs> we all have the same problem. What the hell? I actually have okay, some more problems too. I can, five, I can five, fix this. Four, okay, that's going It's the time! That breeze okay, feels great. Five. Fuck it, leave it open. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, number five. Um, I'm going with Black Dragon versus PSP, the like surprise one. Yeah. BWA Pride Championship. Introducing first, this is PSP. Polish, Slavic, Polowski. This dramatic pause is Black Dragon. The first one on one meeting, and here we go. Feels like I'll never leave this place. There's no escape. I'm my own worst. Boom, Dragon Rain. This is the move that pins PSP in 08. The last time we saw him, and no. Oh no. Could it be possible? PSP is Polish power in 2000 and get he got him! Slavic series! Looking for that acid drop! Oh! Oh, Dragon stuck on a counter! Into the sit out power slam! One, two, no! Dragon coming back, bicycle kick! Bicycle kick to the face! There it is, that's the drop coming, baby! Oh, oh, yeah! He get it, he's got the blocker! Now it's Dragon! Dragon can be pinned right here! It just hopped up there like nothing! PSP, the original! No! Dragon out of the way! PSP in a waterless pool! One! 
One, two, three! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner! And still, BWA Fly Champion Black Dragon! Surprise, Polish! Random match. Um, of course, we didn't have time to plan anything out, and it was amazing. Like, I think we brought out the best in each other. We had chemistry that you know we didn't know about because we really didn't get to sit down and wrestle. And um, the match itself, the whole match was good enough to go straight to video. Yeah. And Which was not always the case of, in 2011. A lot of matches couldn't do that. You know, a lot of my matches couldn't do it. But just as a whole, it was a whole good, complete, All great match. All of my matches went straight to video in 2011. My matches went straight to DVD. I'm gonna be sexy boy. <laughs> I'm a sexy, hey. Huh? Um, it was just awesome. It was fun. And it was great to work with somebody who was a good worker. Because I had a lot of people where I had to carry a lot of the load. Work! Wait. <laughs> but it was nice to somebody that can, you know, work a certain style that was comfortable. Uh, number four, <laughs> yay, Mazzato versus Bravado, November 9th, 2008. We got onto every single list. <laughs> okay. um, great match. A lot of work in there. You can see you guys, you know, the... You know the reverse it wasn't... Stuff. Exactly. It's like, you can see that it was not just a build-up from that match, but it was like a build-up of several matches, and you could see where, you know, okay, last time he beat you with this, so you reversed that and went for this, and... All and James's it, ideas. Oh, uh, thanks, course, Nick! And, of course, the great emotion won without a one. It was... It was just nice. Uh, uh, the battle gets emotional and it, it gets me right here. Aww. Uh, number three, this might be surprising, but uh, August 28th, 2011, Valdez versus Big John. Mm, see, Big John, nice things happen to Big John. Big John, um, yep. Uh, Killed that, it. That match, they both were on their A game. 
and they were trying and it pisses me off but makes me happy because when John tries when he's going hard and as you can see he can go hard in matches that he doesn't win <laughs> but when he tries it works and just like some of the selling I was done like the end I think he won with the oil spill no. but John dove into the fucking yeah, that was good. he wasn't taking that in the days no, <laughs> not he again. dove into that oil spill you know, you could see that Valdez was trying to, you know, keep the, you know, being ring general, trying to make sure John looked big, you know, getting pushed off and, hmm. you know, working. And it told a story, great selling, and it made, in my eyes, Valdez look legitimate because he beat John in a realistic fashion and it made sense. Yeah, burn it up. Oh, yeah, burn it up. Oh, yeah, burn it up. That's all I know, so we'll talk about it. Yeah. Number two, October 16th, 2011, Valdez and Bravado. Ah, oh, I got on there again. Um, I didn't wrestle for that belt much. I watch how the moon sits in the sky on a dark night. Shining with the light from the sun The sun doesn't give the light to the moon Assuming the moon's gonna go with one It makes me think of how you act to me You do favors there rapidly You just turn around and start asking me About things that you want back from me I'm sick of the tension, sick of the hunger Sick of you acting like I owe you this Find another place to feed your greed While I find a place to rest I wanna be in another place I hate when you say you don't understand
Um, just the whole build up to it. it. I'm still a mark for the coins in the in the elbow pad. That was just genius. <laughs> but just the build up to it worked. It was a very technical match, and it had a great finish. And that was a botch, but it was like covered up because what he went for the sunset flip. He was supposed to do a full sunset, but but he did and like he the did, the roll off he off did the, the roll back off thing. The back laziness. But then, then but, he stood up and went into yeah. the Cloverfield, and it's yeah. like. Like, I could see that fucked up, but you covered it so fast that yeah. that made sense. That worked. Yeah. And, you know, and you got bravado. He can cover up your stuff. And <laughs> it, was, it was just a very good match. End of a feud. Went well. And when bravado brings his A game and Jose's not being a douche, <laughs> you can have good matches. It just works. And my number one, yeah, Valdez versus Dragon, November 6th. Introducing first, cashing in his ruler of the ring crown, weighing it at 265 pounds, this is Black Dragon! Woo! And his opponent, he is the reigning and defending Beach Wrestling Association Pride Champion, weighing it at 175 pounds, this is Makina de Guerra, Jose Valdez! Valdez on the comeback. Oh, spear! Oh, man. That's the refocus. This is his rule of the ring clown. And Valdez trying to slay the dragon. Valdez looking for something. Maybe a submission hold here. Oh, no, a counter. Dragon with a counter. Watch the arm. Oh, straight to the face. Ragnarok face buster. Oh, there's in! Now the pin! Oh, no! T-Bone! T-Bone! Suplex! DTS has lost him! Now there's the tap! Center of the ring! Oh, and he's got it! Double play! Double play! The Hell's Gate! The Hell's Gate is locked! Wait, Valdez! Valdez broke it! He broke it! He tried to get the Clover Cube! The Cloverfield on the 265-pounder! Can he turn him? The challenge is down! The challenge is in a horrible, horrible predicament! Nowhere to go! Six feet on each side! Oh, to the left! Oh, no, 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 no! no. Look at the after watch! And now Valdez! Neither one of these men are anywhere near the line! But an impressive kick! Valdez is out! Dragon out, Gallop Line! Gallop Line! The champion! The champion of the counter! Have the leg strength of this corner! Capture Suplex! Capture Suplex and overhead throw! Shout out Dragon coming in! Dragon Grunt! Now that got inside the ring! And that is an unlucky play! Dragon has to drive Jose Valdez! Nine feet back to the center of the ring to load a pin in! Dragon Grant is coming! It's over! No, Valdez with a counter. Valdez on the up! Dragon blocked the wrong side! He blocked the wrong side! And the dirty dragon on the stage! And good salvage! Jose Valdez! He silenced them all! He defeated the Royal of the Ring! And he may very well be the last prize champion! We have seven days to go! And Jose Valdez carries the torch! Unbelievable. Now, I liked the match before the last show match only because I felt like we did the match and I felt like we tried everything. And I felt like the last match we were just trying shit because we just had the match. But it just worked. The chemistry was there. We told the story. You know, and it was me and Valdez. We started together, you know, and together. And I like that Valdez won. Because storyline wise, nobody saw that coming, you know, yeah. outside. He beat me and the whole blocking the wrong side thing. I liked it. Yeah, that was a really good match. So yep, that's my top five.